chest. So the main thing is you got good hand-eye coordination. You're obviously, you got good athletic ability. That's why you're able to get away with a few things. But your arms are off your body. You want to have your arms lightly on your chest. And it's even as much as just tucking in that right arm a little bit. A little bit. See, mine's tucked in. That keeps your shoulders square. Yours are a little open. And they're off your body, right? So a great drill for you. You can do it at home or in the office. Stand in front of a mirror without a club. Tilt from the waist. Flex your knees. Put your head out. Let your arms drop. When you're on the balls of your feet and you got good body angles, they hang suspended. They wouldn't hang out like that, right? Yep. And then a golf club would go there. So that linkage is going to get you in a position to start it with your lead shoulder to take away that is. Everything else is good. You're athletically balanced. Alignment's pretty good. You know, grip's fine. Club face is square. It's just that right arm should be soft because I should see that forearm, as I mentioned. You check these things. And then you'll be able to make your swing. Let's see what you do from your position. Look how your arms pull the club out and away from the ball. See that? As opposed to coming back in an inward arc, connected. So your arms are off your chest. So they're going to move that way. As they continue moving back, now you bring them back and up and around and behind your body. And the first sign that you know, you're know you using your arms is your legs spread at the knees. See how my lower body's quieter? So your arms pull you out and around. Look, that spins everything out, right? When your shoulder turns back, this stays very quiet. Because now on the way back, you're going to have to throw the club in front, reflex the right knee, clear the left hip, and then drop it down and time it. That one you did pretty good. A lot of recovery required timing-wise. Swing's good too, but you're using so much energy where you should be generating energy as you gather the ball and beyond and not wasting the way back and then rerouting. Okay? So you made some swings. Back swing's going to feel a little more compact. And your golf club is going to be able to go back on a a more neutral or almost a slightly inward path with your body and not out, around, and then back, right? With every club, just allow for the shaft length of each golf club to dictate distancing with the same setup fundamental positions. That's it. Okay?